electric water heater replacement one thing we always do is we remove the upper and lower thermostat covers check to see what the thermostat setting is since the water heaters have been trucked in all over the United States they can change the settings on the thermostats and as a licensed plumber it's important that you check these before you go install a water heater uh, something you don't take for granted for the simple reason that people could be seriously injured cause extreme burns scalding Everything should be set at uh, no higher than 120 degrees, at least in the state of Kentucky. Okay, once you remove the panel, there'll be some insulation. This time you can pull it out. You can see the cover. This little plastic guard will usually pop out, no problems. And if you look right there, there's a setting on that thermostat. This is the lower. As you see, it's set slightly below 125, which would be a good guesstimate of 120 degrees, which is the highest we're allowed to set a thermostat on a water heater. Okay, we took the top thermostat cover off, and if you look closely, the setting is the same, 120 degrees. Always check this button here, safety reset button. That's to make sure that um, when this thing malfunctions, that'll pop out. Sometimes during transportation, this can pop out. It'll need to be reset before operation. Always remember that when you go to check these conditions underneath these covers, stamped right into the cover of these, power supply must be disconnected before adjusting thermostat or resetting emergency cutoff. This gas to electric conversion now has us here at the electrical panel where we've got 1, 2, 3, 20s and 115 that need to be condensed in the same fashion that these are. The customer supplied us with these smaller ones, we call them piggybacks, where I can condense all four circuits to these little two areas here and then put a double pole 30 amp breaker in for the 10-2 wiring that's going to serve the new GE water heater from Home Depot. As you see, we got the new smaller breakers inside the panel and now we have a double pole 30 amp breaker that's going to serve our new water heater installation. There's the old ones right there. We're just going to go ahead and leave in the box in case there's any uh, breaker failures or something of that nature. There's not a whole lot of room yet, but there is two right there that they could possibly use. So this panel is slowly filling itself out where there's really only two spots really left back in this panel before they're going to have to do a sub panel like they did over here. And this is the finished product with the new five breakers. Everything hooked up. We just need to get this wire to the water heater and we're done.